It is the 25th of the 6th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I've got a lot to catch up on, so uh, buckle up. Starting on SOT.net, second wildfire rages across Utah. 39,000 acres go up in flames. Uh, the wildfires continue to rain to rage Sunday, covering more than 39,000 acres in uh, San Pete County, destroying between 25 and 30 structures and forcing evacuations of more than 200 homes. Uh, at last word, only the fire was at 4% contained uh, as the southwest continues to burn. Three villages buried in Uganda by landslide slopes of uh, Mount Elgon. 100 people feared dead. I had a bee swarm attack on uh, some Thailand monks. Uh, 70 of them went to the hospital. Uh, 19 seriously. Apparently they were cleaning out an old structure and a swarm of bees attacked them. Uh, strange snakes being reported in the Kiev region leads to mass killing of cattle. Um, residents of the village Litki near Kiev in Ukraine have noticed mass deaths of horses and cows from snake bites. Until now, vipers weren't seen in this area. Villagers claim that the snakes were thrown on the pasture from a helicopter. However, a local veterinarian calls, calls it this mere legend. And they're having a serious problem with vipers, um, strange varieties in strange places. Um, some more strange snakes uh, invade a Nambian town. Now, this was a story they found dated back April 3rd, 2012. Uh, since December last year's, uh, the settlement of North Usakos near the foot of the Rongo Mountains has apparently been plagued with by hundreds of large, strange snakes. Uh, speculation is rifled, but one particular version has it that some residents claim that they saw a helicopter flying low over the area between the New Year, soon after which there was a sharp increase in the snake population. And uh, these snakes are very aggressive, attacking people and animals and whatnot. USGS earthquake magnitude 6.1 earthquake near the east coast of Kamachka, Russia. A very active region, of course. Treasure fire burning 20 acres near Le uh, Leadville, Colorado. Um, the fires continue. Uh, a ninth wildfire began burning near Leadville on Saturday afternoon. The treasure fire has burned 20 acres near Fremont Pass between Leadville and Copper Mountain Res uh, Resort. Indonesia jolted with a 5.9 earthquake. And uh, more on Colorado fires. Colorado High Park fire at 82,190 acres. New pre-evacuation orders. Uh, the High Park fire has now surpassed the, the Missionary Ridge fire as the second largest in the state history at 75,537 acres. The High Park officials have sent 235 pre-evacuation notices to Bonner Peak uh, subdivision, including Springs Ranch Road. Uh, the fires continue. British Columbia flood evacuations alerts grow. Uh, Canada, British Columbia flood watch continues around parts of British Columbia with another community in Fraser Valley issuing evacuation alerts to 43 homes. Uh, this is along the Fraser River. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, I'm not going to cover the war drums or the economy stuff, which there is a plenty. Three villages, three villages buried in Uganda by landslide on slopes of Mount Elgon. 100 feared dead, of course. And what else? Heavy rain sweep across China, killing 16. Uh, the Chinese state media said torrential rains have killed at least 16 people and affected one and a half million people in southern and northern parts of the country. And storm chasers track supercell and large tornado in South Dakota with softball size hail. Um, seems the activity is a little north this year. They've got some really good video out on that. New seismic swarm erupts at El Hero, Canary Island, uh, that unnamed vol underwater volcano uh, right next to it that everybody's been watching, um, has gearing back up again. And 
2.8 magnitude earthquake reported under Japan's Mount Fuji volcano. Uh, 2.8 magnitude earthquake was reported under Mount Fuji volcano on the 24th of June. Mount Fuji has last erupted in 1707, but the volcano began showing signs of growing unrest this year. Indication it is waking up from its long slumber was reported. On uh, June 20, 2012, a rare anvil or hat-shaped cloud appeared near Mount Fuji after a strong typhoon swept through Japan. Uh, the cloud called, uh, I'm not, or hanging cloud was seen on Wednesday morning. The phenomenon occurs when winds around Mount Fuji become strong or after tropical storms, but the experts say such clouds rarely appear at this time of year. Uh, the cloud disappeared for about after about 30 minutes when the sky became overcast. And that was that big uh, um, typhoon that just rolled through, and they've got some video of that. Tropical Storm Debbie to bring torrential rain and flooding to the United States Gulf Coast. Uh, it's running right up towards um, Louisiana and um, through all those oil rigs. And Yellowstone geysers become active again after dormant periods. Uh, Yellowstone geyser enthusiasts are reporting that a handful of Yellowstone National Park geysers appear to be active again after periods of dormancy, including one geyser that last erupted almost two, dec two decades ago, a very seismically active area, of course. And, um, yeah, I got a couple little earthquakes. Uh, nearly 9,000 evacuated as Utah fire uh, explodes. Thousands of homes were evacuated from two small Utah communities on Friday as high winds whipped, through, whipped up a brush fire triggered by target shooters and pushed the flames towards houses and a nearby explosives factory. And that's about all new they've got going on right now. Over to the RSOE, like I said, they've got a long list of things. Of course, we got the flooding going on in British Columbia, Canada, uh, Afghanistan, um, Gore. There some pretty extensive flooding going on there. Of course, the forest fires in Utah, Colorado, Pike National Forest, Fort Collins, uh, Paradise Park area. Uh, State of California, Lith Creek Canyon forest fire. Um, Got a big landslide, British Columbia, the village of Caslo, uh, New Mexico, forest fires, uh, community of uh, La Puebla, Santa Fe County, or, yeah. The flooding in China, tornado in South Africa, Free State Kitstel. Um, that's a pretty rare event down there. And that's all about all the, the climate stuff I have for you tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff real quick. Well, let's go to ENE News. ABC reporting Fukushima worker is shocked. Steel support frames under reactor number four are damaged. Reinforcement of fuel pool jerry rigged. Uh, danger if hit by typhoon or tornado. Vast amounts of heavy water inside. Uh, of course, we've known this has been a jigsaw piece and the thing's starting to crumble apart. Cesium 137 detected in Virginia rain. Quote, I have said it from the beginning that there is Fukushima fallout in the rainwater. Can't be detected with a Geiger counter. And they have a video on that. Tearful Fukushima resident, what happened to us psychologically, physically, and financially is truly unimaginable. We have not yet begun to see the damage um, from this. Tokyo-based writer, over one million Japanese still living in area with highly daily radiation exposure. Previous cesium, cesium limit in rice was just 0.1 becquerels per kilogram. Now it's a thousand times higher. That's right, a hundred becquerels per kilogram is acceptable now. Fukushima plant workers keep saying to us, quote, it could go any minute kind of thing. Teacher in March 2012 interview even now, people say to always have your stuff ready to go, um, just in case number four falls over. More trouble at reactors. Two alarms sounded at newly restarted Oi nuclear power plant. Error blamed on unstable atmosphere. Now ESSKF reported 26 
uh, false alarms due to atmospheric um, unstable atmosphere because they're using a radio transmitted um, sensors on all these different parts to come through and uh, they get interfered with regularly. Apparently, um, normally it's just ignored, but they have to uh, uh, report every little thing now as part of the deal to restart these reactors. So uh, the insanity continues. More uh, local officials, people in Tokyo, the black substance is here. Quote, it's on the roof, on the asphalt, on the concrete, everywhere, on all surfaces. This is that highly radioactive algae or bacteria or whatever the heck is uh, growing all over the place and seems to be accumulating this radiation. Um, the black substance is in Tokyo. Japanese journalists, nobody can stop this movement anymore. Even the police, even if the police make controls, people will gather together. A revolution made by citizens. Now this is to stop the nuclear industry in Japan, for sure. Uh, Japan TV Crawfish from highly contaminated area brought into classroom for children to play with. Safe enough after rinsing it with water. And there's a video. Safe enough. Uh, Japan TV, Fukushima Seafood to be sold in stores starting next week. After one round of tests on three kinds of samples, the insanity continues. Enjoy your fish. A large gap in top floor number four reactor building taken off in the last few days. Um, of course, we have some YouTube channels covering that as well. And uh, <laughs> Rand, a senior scientist, Fukushima spent fuel may, might have been damaged. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go over to, um, of course, the, the XSKF link I will attach. That's the alarm sounded 26 times, not two at power transmission line on monetary system for the OI nuclear power plant uh, where they're gearing up number three and number four ready to fire them up. Now finally tonight we're going to go to uh, Fukushima Diary, uh, the daily news section. Uh, following up on this article, Reactor 4 has, um, has had one explosion and two fires on March 20th, 2011. Uh, TEPCO states the second fire at Reactor 4 started at 545 on the 16th and the fire was naturally quote, missing at 6.15. So does the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. Uh, so they're lying about the second fire kind of thing. Reactor uh, 4, explosive shock was detected before the explosion. Um, and again, this goes back to March 2011 by five different seismometers uh, it was recorded that they had a, a, an explosive shock was detected before the explosion so it was like a boom boom kind of thing and uh, holes in the duct tape of reactor number three TEPCO fixes it with tape quote the warranty peri period of the parts for the coolant system is one year of uh, the duct of reactor number three a gas control system got eight holes. TEPCO staff, staff found at 1219 on the 19th. TEPCO states that no leakage of gas from the duct because it is in a negative pressure inside. Uh, but it's not known if any uh, release was actually taking place. But they just taped it back together. See, you got they, they threw all this stuff together to real quick right after the, the tsunami and earthquake disaster. Um, and... Um, <laughs> So this stuff's starting to fall apart. It wasn't really put together like it was meant to. It was made to work kind of thing. 15% of pregnant women in Fukushima suffer from depression. I'm sure the numbers are higher than that. TEPCO will quit press conferences on Saturdays. Uh, basically, they announced on the 23rd, they stated it's because they don't have enough to report about Fukushima plants and not enough amount of tasks to do on Saturdays. So they're just going to go ahead and take the day off. And uh, that's about all I'm going to cover tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please let me know. Oh, yeah, and Japanese government's trying to um, change their copyright law. So basically, uh, YouTube will be illegal in Japan. Um, because if you download a video, um, basically if you watch a video, it temporarily downloads onto your computer. Uh, they can charge you for downloading copyrighted material and whatnot. And 
they're going to change the rules on that. So it's not going to be like here in America or uh, most of the rest of the world as far as uh, copyright and whatnot. And people wonder why I don't show you pictures and diagrams all the time. <laughs> Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks. Hello.